You know, it's kind of funny because heading into this year's 2024 trade deadline period, a lot of people knew that Jake Gensel was going to get traded. Like, essentially, that was the thing. We all had this inkling that we're saying into our minds, hey, it's Gensel and it's probably going to be to some team like Vancouver, Florida, maybe Vegas, maybe New York, and inevitably it was Carolina, because of course it was. Kyle Dubas needed to get his guy back in Michael Bunting, if you did not check out the video we made about that. But I wanted to make this video following up on the Pittsburgh Penguins because when it comes to the stars that remain on this team, man oh man did we have ourselves a reaction to this Gensel trade from one of the best players of all time. He's arguably top five. You could say he may be on the Mount Rushmore of hockey's history. He's certainly on the Mount Rushmore of modern day hockey. Let's talk today about Sidney Crosby's response to the Jake Gensel trade. Because it's no secret that Sidney Crosby is a very competitive guy, and we all recognize that he's got a spirit, he's got a drive to succeed, and an unwillingness to give up, like most NHL athletes. So, to see a guy in Sidney Crosby who is boasting up yet another point-per-game season, he's got 63 points in 61 games played at the time of this recording, and 32 goals. He hasn't reached 32 goals since last year, where he had 33 in the whole year. So, really, Crosby on pace for 43 goals this season would be on the best goal pace he's had in seven years, pretty much. But Sidney Crosby is one of the guys in the NHL where if you say, hey, your team's doing pretty bad, he'd say, okay, so? He's one of those guys that still believes and would always believe in his team and his ability, his teammates' ability. You've got Malkin, Latang, Carlson, and formerly Jake Gensel all on this squad. What do these have in common? Well, they're all old except for Gensel. So, with Gensel getting shipped off to Carolina, with his contract situation potentially sorting itself out over there, there was this idea floating around saying, hey, wait a minute, we've known this entire time heading into the trade deadline that Sidney Crosby would not want to trade away Jake Gensel. Not because Sidney Crosby doesn't, you know, like whatever it is that's coming back, he doesn't like Michael Bunting or whatever, but because... Trading away Gensel for bunting and a bunch of prospects technically makes the team worse. And when you have these older guys, veteran guys, Malkin, Latang, Crosby, Carlson, etc., on your squad, the last thing that they want to hear at this stage of their careers is that the team they're on is actively making trades to get worse. And so, what does that signal to the team? It signals that we want to build for a team that exists beyond your timeline. Crosby, sorry, but with this trade, with Cruz Lucius coming onto our squad, with Vili Koivinen, with these prospects and with these picks, we're building for a team that exists outside of the world of Sidney Crosby, Evgeny Malkin, and Chris Letang. It's sort of saying that this time is over. So, let's go over to an article on dailyfaceoff.com that talks about the Sidney Crosby comments in response to the Jake Gensel trade. I don't know, it's probably a better question for them, Crosby says on Penguins Management trading Jake Gensel. This was published by Hunter Crother from earlier yesterday. And Sidney Crosby struggled to find the right words after the Penguins traded Jake Gensel. This also was after a 6-0 loss to the Washington Capitals. Reporters asked Crosby what were his immediate thoughts once it became clear that a trade was going to happen. Gensel is a great player and a great teammate, Crosby said. He's a friend. He did everything he possibly could in his time here. It was a privilege to play with him for the course of his time here. There were some great memories. When asked about what he thought the message was from management after this trade, Crosby responded, I don't know. That's probably a better question for them. It was the first time in quite a while that Crosby, at 36 years old, sounded dejected. The three-time Stanley Cup champion has only found a few linemates who have consistently been reliable throughout his career, and there's a case to be made that Gensel was the best. Asked if he still was confident that the Penguins could turn this thing around, Crosby sounded like he had faint optimism. I hope, he said. Tonight's not going to be the kind of game that does that, but I hope. I think the trade deadline is always tough, but I think, given the circumstances, it's a little heavier. Now, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go ahead and read this article. There's a little bit more on this on the website, but 
Is that not just so tough to see? Because for Sidney Crosby, you can tell that this is definitely, definitely not the way he wanted this Penguins team to play off. Firstly, against the Washington Capitals, and secondly, with the verdict of a trade coming immediately after. It's like Sidney Crosby knew this was the end of an era. Just listening to the interview, he sounds so sad. He sounds like he's kind of just ready to give up on this cup chase. Now, we know Sidney Crosby would not do that, but just the emotional response, the body language, and the way he was talking. If it was any other human being in the world, it'd probably be like, yeah, that guy's really defeated. Like, he looks and sounds like his mindset is at the bottom of the barrel. And, of course, as a result of this, you have to go out there and ask, what does this mean for Sidney Crosby and his future? Because as we've been talking about this entire season, Sid the Kid does expire, or his contract expires, at the end of next season, 2024-2025. He's making $8.7 million a year, and this is the kind of guy that, if you wanted to say could stick around in Pittsburgh, he gets maybe a $10 million, $11 million AAV, or maybe he sticks around in the $8.7 million mark. Okay, that's fine. We all recognize that's a possibility, and it's probably more likely to happen. But what if the odd chance does occur that Crosby does want to go somewhere else, that he wants to play with McKinnon, he wants to get back into the business of winning Stanley Cups? Because sorry, but trading Jake Gensel away for bunting in a package of prospects and picks indicates that, for the now at least, you're not really in the business of winning Stanley Cups. You're trying to retool on the fly and capitalize on the future as well. Crosby is 36 years old, so is there not a reasonable idea to consider the possibility that he may want to go elsewhere? I don't know. He'd never outright admit it. If any media person asks him about it, he's definitely going to say, yeah, like, I'll stay in Pittsburgh. I want to be here. I've been a pen for life, baby. But... Can you really fault the guy if there is some sort of dormant feeling saying, yeah, I kind of would prefer to go somewhere else considering the direction of this team, considering the talent caliber. I'm sorry, but Evgeny Malkin's not been it this season. Chris Letang has been all right. Eric Carlson has been all right. But all right is a lot worse than 100 point Norris caliber defender last year like Eric Carlson was. So... Really, you have to start thinking about what's going on with this team and the direction you want to go down and Sid the Kid and whether or not he's really happy with the situation here in Pittsburgh in 2023-2024. And that's why I wanted to go out there and make this video. How Sidney Crosby was very upset about the Jake Gensel trade and the comments that he made afterwards that pretty much tell it so. Especially the way in which he answered the question. You want to talk about, oh yeah, the direction of the team? Well, that's something you gotta ask them. Don't ask me, ask them, ask Kyle. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the Sydney Crosby Pittsburgh Penguins show and how everything is going down with this team. Jake Gensel was the first domino to fall, but over the next few years, what's going to happen then? You've got until next offseason to secure Sid the Kid back down and keep him on board. But aside from Sidney Crosby, what do you do with the rest of your squad? Malkin is signed on till 2025-2026. Eric Carlson till 2027. Chris Letang is here until 2028. So where exactly do you go with this squad? Ryan Graves is also signed on to this team's roster for, what, a few more years until the end of 2029, but he has not been pulling his weight, unfortunately, despite the fact that he was seen as a pretty big pickup for Pittsburgh a few months ago. But either way, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about the entire Penguin situation with Sid the Kid, with the rest of the roster, how everything is going, and how everything is turning around. Do you think this is fixable within the span of Sidney Crosby's NHL career? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Shout out to Rolls 99. And bye.